Oh, Hello, okay. Beetle. Right. Morning mechanic shop. Hello. I mean, not good morning. It is the morning mechanic shop, although it's nearly afternoon now. No, it's very we've hot already. Got, we've been going a little while. Tell me things. Tell me things. So Tell basically, things, sweet Christopher. Things, sweet Chris. My sweet Tim. Um, so the sump guard did its job yesterday, as you can see from some of these huge things and dents in it. Um, but because it's obviously been hit at the bottom, it's pushed the top out, which now under heavy braking, like going down hills and stuff, is catching my front tire, and it's going. Oh, is that what that noise was? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So obviously. Cut to the noise here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cut to this video, I'll give you that. Um, and then, yeah. so I don't want it screwing my tire out basically. Or catching or ripping it off or whatever. Right. So I'm going to take it off, smash it about a little bit, and put it back on. Nice. And wait until it does it again later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and meanwhile, on the other side of the workshop, this is our rural workshop, things I've been doing. So zip, zip tied that back on because um, it's smashed on a rock. Um, straightened the uh, linkage there i've taken the gear lever off because it uh, well this is what's left of it <laughs> not much so um i'm gonna hopefully get a new one i'm just working on that at the moment maybe uh, i think moto camp are going to provide me with one although i think it might cost me a bit oh this all came undone now the exhaust is still held on until i can get hold of an m8 bolt um and nut so that's just held on with zip ties. Hopefully I'm gonna get one of those as well. All right, we out. That's beautiful. You Welsh have uh, got some nice places. <laughs> what we have there is we have farmer. Uh, this is just uh, absolutely stunning. I don't know what's around the corner. Could be shh, rubbish. Rubbish, that's what I said. But, oh, look at that. I mean, you probably can't see it because the the camera is going to make everything tiny, but that is Barmouth Estuary in its glory, looking amazing. Shell Island further on down there. And I think we're on the edge of Cadder Idris, but I might be wrong.
get up there, I'll be all right. It's the front end. Do you want us to lift you up? Front end needs lifted. Oh, okay. Just careful on the plastics. I don't know where to hold. <laughs> yeah, that's a good place. Okay. Ready? That's it. Yeah. Three, two, one. Three. Now what are you going to do? Get up here. Right. Ready? Yeah. Just uh, get these down here. Then. Yeah. Hold them there. Not here. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. We've been on it for miles, maybe four miles, five miles. You can see the road over there. Oh, it's about another half a mile, probably. Funnily enough, I think I was recording. <laughs> but no, that was absolutely amazing. Burger van! Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, you still can donate to the cause. Tim will put a Just Giving link on his Absolutely, video. up here. You couldn't have pressed the button, so you've like, lost my train of thought now. Yeah. You confused me. I am the button presser. You are the button presser. Um, Twisted button but press. if it survives, we're going to do more, aren't we? Yeah. Well, on the burger van. Stupidity with the burger van. Yeah, and now and knowing you, Chris, you'll come up with some other crazy shall head brain idea. Shall I put it into no, a No, no more ideas. <laughs> I think that's what the can do. Bridge where we ended it last year, more or less. And that hill just above it was the one with the great big white steps of doom that burnt out everyone's clutch. Where am I navigating to? Um, I don't know if you just want to keep following the set until we find the pub. How is it on the T7? Um, is it the bike of your dreams? I always went for power originally, and that's why I sort of went for the T7. But having done more trail riding, I would definitely not get one. Go for something smaller. 
because road bikes, it's all about power. Yeah. Off-road bikes, it's... It's, it's about chuggability. Exactly. Chuggability? Is that a new, is that is a new phrase? Is it a bit big for you? Point? No. It's can't reach the Himalayan ground, phrase, mate. It, it feels That's massive. That's what they say in, when oh, they speak time. Himalayan. Chuggability. Chuggability. Yeah. 400cc all the way out, I think. I could recommend the type of bike. <laughs> it's been a good day. We've had, um, done some lanes where we've actually got some pace up. We've done some technical stuff. Um, doing some fairly technical stuff and then looking over my shoulder and seeing Chris 20 yards behind me was quite a sight. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow, this is hard. I look over my shoulder expecting to see Aaron and I see Chris as... <laughs> Aaron, on two wheels. Aaron, what did you think of me. Chris getting stuck in that rut that we lifted him out of? It's his own fault, isn't it? You had a stupid bike. Stupid things are going to happen to you, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the rut was about twice the steepest as the, the wheels. wheels. <laughs> it wasn't even the rut. I literally, it was, about, it was about that wide, and I just went plowing into it, didn't think about it, and it just lifted me up so both wheels were off the floor, and that was it. I was just like, I actually can't go anywhere now. It's like floating. But yeah, so you very kindly lifted me up, didn't you, and chucked me onto the side, and I went around it, which worked. You yeah, were, yeah. Team My work. pleasure. And then you bought me a pint. So I bought everybody a pint. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame you couldn't do the first bit. No. The first bit we came across. Mm. Yeah, go on. You know, that oh, straight out that, that was a bit that, of a shame. Yeah. You know where we had a telling off from yeah, the yeah. farmer? From, from the farmer. Mm. There was no way we were getting them bikes up without, without yeah. one spin a clutch or something bad happening. So it we, was just like that, we made the right curly decision. and full of boulders, wasn't it? We, we, really you, soft you, you reckon, didn't you, that, it, that, that somebody had sort of oh, made I it think difficult to deliver it. dug that over because it was so loose, the earth, that's mm. not packed down from, from people walking on it, that's dug. Mm. Because there's no, the earth is just not that soft on a path. And we thought the gate as well, didn't we? We thought the gate was, because um, the gate looked brand new, and then there was that little, which was tiny, it was only just big enough to get the bike through, wasn't it? Chicken wire fence. And then there was like chicken wire fence across as well, so yeah. it was a bit like, Somebody had modified that, yeah. so, so yeah. bikes couldn't get through. Like yeah. Farmer Mardon had done a job. <laughs> Farmer Mardon. What about you, Kate? Um, I loved it. You fell off. Oh, I you did fall off. Fell off. Oh, fell off. Yeah. On the easiest trail as well. Oh, I always do it. I'm like the littlest bit of grass or something like that. Do you know what I thought? I'll just hop over there. I'm in the right but I just want to be over there on the left one. And it was it was barely a hop over. It was like, there was nothing there. And it looked compacted. Then as soon as I got on it, down. But but how I stuff. managed to snap that mirror and bend that side of the handlebars. <laughs> you karate chopped your mirror on the way down. Oh, oh yes. yeah. That's right, yeah. Gave it the elbow. I've been so practicing that yeah. soon. After all that stuff you did yesterday, without incident, yeah. and then you get on that and fall off. Yeah. I had to take a second to get back up as well because I smashed my leg on a rock. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I was I like, was... please tell me that's not broken. Is that really hurts? <laughs> I was in that frame of mind of, um, right, I'm going to very carefully get off my motorcycle to go and help you, to, just to give an air of calm in this. <laughs> was it, was it one of those you. minutes? Ah. <laughs> 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 I've got. <sighs> My arms have gone up in the air, so I've laid down, I've gone, I've gone to get back up and then I've gone, no, <laughs> in a minute. One of them you decide if anything's working before you try and stand on it. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but going across that bit, across the top, where you could see the Barmouth Bridge, amazing, absolutely yeah, amazing. Chris, I believe you fell off. No, no, I didn't. Uh, you sure? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, yeah. It must be my eyesight. Uh, <laughs> it was on camera. <laughs> 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 well, to be fair, I hit a massive rock and just stopped dead. L literally st instantly stopped and I just went straight forward like that. Then a little bit further down, I clipped a rock and just went, uh, dink. <laughs> just a really slow sort of, and rolled off it. Tried to pick it up quickly before anybody came around the corner and realised everyone's behind me. <laughs> Thank you.